We always encourage families to include the entire family in the funeral process, including children. We always tell families uh, we're never born to fear death. We learn to fear death uh, as we grow older. So children usually handle this very well. Whether they are the children of the deceased or grandchildren, a lot of times parents are afraid to bring the child there. It's a little different today, but you still have families that say, oh, I don't, I don't, I'm afraid that they're going to get scared or this will you know, harm them in a, in a negative way. A lot of times the stories we hear is that the people that were not allowed to attend the funeral for a parent or grandparent 30, 40 years ago, and they haven't gotten over that because they weren't allowed to. And I always tell families, give that child the choice. Let them make that decision. If they don't want to be there, fine. If they do want to be there, allow that. Don't force them either way. My mom, Patty D. John, on our staff, as a life coach, she's available to come and talk to the children if need be. And talking to children is something that uh, is one of her specialties. We do have prepared materials for families to explain death to children. We have two therapy dogs on our staff to help children during that time, and uh, families do many times request our therapy dogs to be at the funeral service so the children can interact and make the children feel comfortable in the entire process.